This is the Video Game Votary. Show your support and hit subscribe right now. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, the Video Game Votary, here with a brand new episode. So, we just finished up Super Mag Fest. It was a super great time. At the extra time, great pickups, great vibes. So, of course, we're going to do a recap. And we're also going to show y'all the pickups. So to see my recap and to find out what I picked up from Super Mag Fest, sit back, subscribe, catch the vibe, find out next. Okay guys, welcome back. Before we get today's video started, if you're a fan of video game content, convention coverage, pickups videos, live streams, and much more, be sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell, turn on notifications so that you'll miss a single episode. All right guys, so we're back. I'm gonna show y'all what we picked up. Separate a few things, make it make sense. Oh, let me move this. We got quite a bit of pickups. So, first and foremost, this is a game that I've been looking at. It's been uh, it's kind of nostalgic for me. It was a pretty important part of my life. And I said, if I see a box, I was going to pick it up. Now, I have this game on the Sega Genesis already. So, I decided to pick this up in box. This is NBA Live 95. I bought it with a case, got it for 14 bucks. Pretty neat. Like I said, it was nostalgic for me. That was the start of the uh, NBA Live series. It was a very, very classic game. And I love this game, so I decided to pick it up. If I see it for cheap less, or for less cheap, I should say. All right, so uh, before we get into the Wii, there are two particular games that I picked up that I was waiting to pick up. Like I said, I wanted to show y'all two games that I got that were outside of the Wii library, outside of the NBA Live 95 that I just showed y'all box. Uh, one being, I was down there, of course, we're playing a bunch of arcades and things set up. And I was saying to my buddy Greg and to Black Ranger that if I see a nice dance game in DDR, I'm we'll gonna pick it up. So, of course, I run into this complete box. This is DDR Universe for the Xbox 360. It has the get the dance pad inside. Got it for a great price. Pick it up and. That was from some great people. I hope I can remember the name. Maybe I remember for the before the end of the video. So that was one thing I picked up. Another game I've been watching for years. Price isn't coming down. It hadn't been coming down. I don't think that it is. So I decided to just go ahead and get it instead of waiting. And that is Def Jam Fight for New York on the original Xbox. I was waiting to pick that up. Very, very clean copy. Complete with manual. So happy to have that in my collection. And the last couple things that I got is leading into the Wii, but this was kind of outside of the Wii. Well, actually, no, it's part of Wii, so we can start the Wii. So the first couple items that I picked up, or not picked up, it was actually given to me. Shout out to my boy, Black Ranger. If you haven't subscribed to his channel, make sure you do that. Uh, that's my homie. So we met up for the first time. We had fun at MAGFest, and he said he got something for me. So it comes through, brings Wii Party. It's complete. And he also brung... A Super Mario Wii controller. So shout out to him. Thank you. He know I'm a big Mario fan. So he came through. Showed your boy some love. Appreciate that. Now let's get into the Wii pickups. Alrighty. So first, we got Dream, Dance, and Cheer. That's complete with manual. Then we got Goosebumps Horror Land. No manual in that Real Fishing Angler's Dream. It's complete with manual. Front cover. Got Survivor Outwit, Outplaying Outlast. That's also complete with manual. We got Sam and Max. The, the Adventure Company presents Sam and Max Season 1. That's the cover of that. Also complete with manual. We got Green Day Rock Band, complete with manual as well. We got Scooby Doo and the Spooky Swamp, no manual in this. We got Safe Cracker, the Ultimate Puzzle Adventure, no manual. We got Hell's Kitchen, the game, no manual in that. We got Puzzle Quest. Complete with manual. 
We got Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows Part 2. That's complete with manual as well. And we got Disney's The Princess and the Frog. Complete with manual. Tornado Outbreak. Also complete with manual. We got Yamaha Supercross. Complete with manual. We got Zumba Kids, the ultimate Zumba dance party. This is sealed. It's brand new. And that is a brand new seal on that. You can definitely tell the difference between sealed and resealed. And we got Pro Evolution Soccer 2013. This is pretty heavy case. It's got a really, that manual is pretty big. Pause. We got that complete with manual. Very, very detailed manual, I guess. We got Nickelodeon's Avatar, The Last Bender, Last Airbender, The Burning Earth. That too is complete with manual. This is one of the last games that I picked up um, that I pretty much didn't have to pay for and I'll get to that in a minute. I'll give you guys that story. This is Lost in Shadow. And this was based on, when I told you me and Greg was in that NBA Jam Tournament Edition, this is one that I pretty much had enough um, from the trade-in from my buddy Glenn, shout out to him again, and from the, they gave out little coins that you could use in the marketplace. So, you know, I took that, took that money and added the trade-in. I basically got this, you know, from the trade-ins and that. So, shout out to Glenn for that. That's complete with manual. Then we got a good one, the King of Fighters collection, the Orochi Saga, complete with manual. We got Battleship. This too is complete with manual. Shout out to the people that's keeping manuals and cases. <laughs> Cause that's kind of a rarity. We got Neopet Adventure. This is sealed. So pretty sure that has the manual if it has one. Then last but not least, we got Hot Wheels Track Attack. And that too is complete with manual. So, oh, before I forget. So that's it for the Wii games. Then uh, Nintendo had a small section set up. They had a little booth there. So you guys seen the picture if you follow me on social media. If you don't, you definitely should at Video Game Voting on all social platforms. So they gave out this awesome Nintendo Switch bag and it's fantastic. I'm gonna set that over there with the kiosk. Then they just had like little goodies. They gave out this holiday wrapping paper. So I plan on doing something with that. Like maybe wrap an empty box or something and sit it over there with the kiosk. Just kind of have it on display. I just think it'd be something cool to do. Then they had a couple posters they gave out. First, we got uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee poster. This is sweet. I'm gonna, um, I have a couple of these though. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna end up framing these. Then we also have Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. And we also have Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Some awesome posters there. Then we just got all kind of goodies. Let's go through the goodies. So we got a holiday activity and gift guide. So they must have been maybe had these at the store. So some activity things in there. Pretty cool. You know, just little things to savor. And then there's a, we got some Super Mario sunglasses. This is sweet. I may put this on my uh, Mario figure, my six inch Mario figure. Pretty cool. They also gave out Pokemon cards. I don't know what this is worth. I haven't collected Pokemon cards since middle school, but this is Spin Arc. It says basic, but we got Spin Arc. Pokemon card. Then we got a character sticker set. And this appears to be, um, not sure. Not sure what that is, what game that's from, but it's a character sticker set. And we also have, um, what are these? These are also stickers. This is a uh, partner Pokemon, but they, they're not like regular st stickers. They're kind of like, got like a velvet material, I guess. So that's pretty cool. Got a few more things in here. We got a couple of these, I don't know if they're erasers. They feel like erasers. Got the green shell, and we also got the mushroom. 
They feel like a racist. Oh, we're gonna call them a racist. We got this Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee pin. We also have another uh, character patch set, which I think that's what those other ones are. Doesn't say, but I'm guessing that they're patches. This one appears to be Mario and Luigi, of course. So that's awesome. Then they got two more pins. This is uh, Mario and Princess Peach. Holiday pin pack. Awesome. And then last but not least, we got some character, char character stickers. I picked up one of each. All the main characters. You got Princess Toad. I mean, Captain Toad. Princess Peach. Luigi. Mario, of course. Yoshi. You got a uh, Goomba. And you got Bowser. So those were my pickups from MAGFest, Super MAGFest. Let me know down in the comment section what you thought about my pickups. What you thought about uh, Nintendo's booth and the giveaways. Do you think those were pretty cool? Uh, also, looking at the footage, is it something, is MAGFest something that you think that you would like to come see in the future as it's the first weekend of the year down in National Harbor in Washington, D.C.? So I just want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for continued support. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as we're on the way to 2,500 subscribers. We need that. I'm pretty sure we can get that by the summer. So keep pushing. Also, share the video. Share the channel with any guy, anybody that you know in the video games, covers, pickups, videos, you name it. Um, stay tuned for future videos and uploads. Stay tuned for future collabs. We're going to collab with Black Ranger soon. Uh, hopefully looking to collab with Team G Cell as well and then some other YouTubers as well. So thank you guys for your continued support. It's your boy the video game voting signing off. Till next time. Thank you for watching. Follow me on all social media platforms at video game voters.